Well, hello there and welcome uh, to uh, Rome for the final of four of Euro Volley 2023. Eight different cities. It's time for the final four. Well, welcome uh, to uh, Rome as uh, Italian legend and French coach Andrea Gianni welcomes us through uh, the corridor. It's going to be another tantalizing game here in Italy to see who goes through to the European Championship final on Saturday evening. For France, they're the Olympic gold medalists Last won this competition in 2015. Kevin Tilly in your picture was part of that side. But moving on eight years, they've been waiting for another crack at European glory. And they have an incredible side ready to go into battle here in Rome. Well, for Italy, they are the world and European champions having won the European title two years ago in Katowice, Poland. They're looking to go back to back for the third time in history. They defeated France in 2003 in the gold medal match, three sets to two. This evening will be a frightening one as uh, Fernando De Giorgi, the head coach, Goes up against Andrea Gianni, the coach of France, somebody who he won three world titles with in the 90s. Well, Kevin Tilly and Giovanni Sanguinetti. Pre-match interviews, looking to play their own game. Tilly there in your picture. He said about laughing and keeping it light. The likes of uh, Tilly and Engerpeth in your picture now have been in this team for a long, long time. Part of that golden generation of French athletes that went on to win the Olympic gold medal in Tokyo, Stephen Boyer played in the Champions League final for Yashemsky this year. Will he play tonight or will he not play is uh, the question. Andrea Gianni has a deep squad here. And John Petri has been excellent in that opposite position for France. Well, Simone Gianelli, the captain there on the left of your screen, is uh, their big news is that Roberto Russo is out injured, that ankle injury from the quarterfinals. And it's expected that Leandro Mosca will get the nod here this evening, having come off the bench in their quarterfinal victory. the toss taking place a while ago 
Benjamin Toniuti, Simone Gianelli, two of the very best to ever do it in this sport. Well, there we go. The Euro Volley semi final coming our way live from Rome. It's going to be special. Italy trying to retain the title they won in Poland two years ago here on home soil against an incredible French Olympic gold medal winning team. Poland have already made it through to the final, beating Slovenia. They lost the opening set, but boy, oh boy, were they impressive after that. And Italy, France now will go into battle here in Rome for a spot in the finals on Saturday. Well, what a talent Alessandro Micheletto is. Uh, but tonight he'll have his uh, work uh, cut out because France are certainly here to battle. Didn't have it all their own way in the quarterfinals against Romania. They were down by five points in two sets and got it all the way back to win 3-0 for Italy. Well, it went to a fifth and final deciding set. It was almost feeling like they might have a heartbreak on their hands as they collided with the Netherlands and Namir Abdelaziz in Bari before coming up here to Rome very quickly. They got their way back, a very mature performance in that fifth set, saw them through as uh, France in red this evening against the Italians in blue. Gianelli, the Perugia main man, who was, uh, well, the king of Trentino for a long period of time. He really is a special talent, but in uh, Riccardo Spatoli, they have uh, two very good setters in their roster, but Gianelli certainly will start. The only member left in the team, Gianelli, from the Olympic silver medal winning team in 2016. There is uh, Micheletto. He is now the king of Trentino. He was the best outside hitter two years ago. As it still felt like he was very much on the rise in this game in Katowice. He's certainly at the very top of it now. Well, France, uh, Jean Patry, an absolutely outstanding talent now playing his volleyball in Poland. Yashemski Wengel taking the spot of uh, Stefan Boya, who's uh, moved on. So we have a look at Micheletto and Timothy Kale, the two to watch on the outside this evening. Kale very much taking that spot of Engerpeth and seven points in the quarterfinal for Kale. He's a Bundesliga winner with Berlin. Micheletto. A lot will rely on that man, especially with out to Russo. They certainly have enough strength in their roster. And as Kevin Tilly said at the start of the show, if uh, France enjoy themselves, they certainly will bring their top level. Over the past, they've been up and down in consistency, the Olympic gold medalists. But remember two years ago, they lost to the Czech Republic. They were knocked out in the quarterfinals. That wasn't ideal for a nation like France with the strength that they have, but they bounce back incredibly well. France have won 12 of the previous 19 encounters at the European Championship, but Engerpeth, it's uh, interesting to see how fit he is struggling with his knees. Engerpeth brought in to serve at times, but as uh, Barthelemy Chiniesi said yesterday, struggling because in the past he's been able to help the team on a more regular occurrence, but it's not quite fully fit. Just saw Andrea Gianni 
France beat his Slovenian team in 2015 and his former teammates Ferdinando de Giorgi, part of that, the setter of that incredible Italian side in the 90s with three world championships. And really that phase of de Giorgi two years ago, he had just come in as the coach before the European Championships and they got off to the perfect start with the victory. in Katowice and then to go on and win the world championships as well is a special run for this Italian team but they are a special team there's no doubting that the Italy have uh, lost each of their last four matches against France at European level or at the European championships so France have the upper hand but Slovenia had the upper hand against Poland in the head-to-head -head European Championship and that counted for nothing in here an hour or so ago. The stage is set and it is a wonderful stage indeed. CV Euro Volley 2023 moving on from the women's competition where the finals in Brussels between Turkey and Serbia was a fantastic event and the level superb we expect to see new heights here as well Lavia in your picture should start on the outside this evening as uh, Yuri Romano is Italy's top scorer here with a hundred points Micheletto 95 Lavia 90 in this competition Keep an eye out in the middle this evening for Bart Chiniesi. He's having a fantastic competition. Nine points in the quarterfinals, but 13 against Bulgaria. He's also managed to be rested uh, once against Romania and Israel as well. As said, the depth of the side for France is very strong and very deep for Italy. Well, we expect them to start with uh, the usual suspects of Micheletto Gianelli. Balasso has uh, played in every match so far, as has uh, Gianelli, as Giorgio keeps the spine of the team the same from uh, the off, really. Romano, Galassi, Lavia, but no Russo. Italy at home. And it is now turning into a packed, packed house at the Palazzetto dello Sport di Roma. The stadium, the host of basketball at the Olympics in 1960 and the host of the World Championships in 2010. John Petri won to watch this evening and rightfully so. It's a big game in his career before he moves off back to Poland for Yashemski. As we've already spoken about, Timothy Kale, 27 years old. They also have depth on that side with Tilly Kleveno. Kleveno, who played in the Champions League final earlier on in the season, and Gianluca Galassi. The Monza middleman who played in the world and European championship sides. Yuri Romano, who came off the bench in that 2021 European Championship final and set the world alight. He's at it again in this competition. Stefan Boya, who scores, who has scored the most points per set on average for France in this competition. He's only played in four of their seven matches so far. Let's see, 
see who Gianni goes with this evening and how we can we forget Genya Glebenikov, one of the best liberos of this generation. So many stars in this game. An evening to save it. And one that I'm sure that we will remember. The Italian flag flying high as the teams leave the arena to be presented back in in just a moment. Louis Let with you in the commentary box for this one. And I'm incredibly excited. Will we see the best French team? As we have a look at uh, Blizzard and Tony Uti, two fabulous set of Blizzard, uh, preferred mostly throughout this competition. Jean Petri, Stefan Boyer, two outstanding opposites. Both can come in and win matches for France here. Genia Grabenikov, one of the best uh, liberos of this generation. And then uh, Nicolas Lukov, uh, by Emily Chiniesi, will start in the middle. I am sure. Kale, Luetti, Tilly, Engapeth and Cleveno. It's a world-class selection of outsides for Le Bleu. And you expect Kale and Luetti to start again. Tilly, Cleveno and Engapeth may be off the bench, but let's see what Gianni has up his sleeve this evening. Well, for Italy, Gianelli, Spatoli, the two setters. Spatoli, the Trentino setter, replacing uh, Gianelli, but Yuri Romano and Alessandro Alberto Bovalenta, as uh, the opposite Bovalenta has fabulous form at youth level. Balasso has been ever present in this team so far. And then uh, Mosca, Galassi, just start in the middle if Russo's not fit. And uh, as we heard before, Sangretti. As we meet the French uh, side, led by Benjamin Toniuti. He's had a fabulous career, 2015 European champ, the VNL champion with France in 2022, an Olympic gold medalist. Third season with uh, Yashemski. Now as he's joined uh, by Genia Glebenikov, then at St. Petersburg. He's never won that Champions League, but He's won just about everything else. Grabenikov is an outstanding libero. John Petri, 14 points. Big thorn in the side of Romania. Yashemski Vengel this year. And he was the best opposite in the VNL. Tilly, another one of the French team that's been on this fabulous journey from the 2015 European Championships, now at Varsova, MVP of the French League in 2022. And uh, Irving Engapet used off the bench throughout this competition, MVP of that nation's league win in 2022 and the Olympic Games. Hopefully, he'll be fit enough to play a big part this evening. Antoine Brizard, VNL winner. CV Cup winner, Olympic gold medalist, should start in the setting position tonight, the Piacenza man. Stefan Boria, we've just uh, missed. We've already spoken about him uh, this evening. As uh, a legend, Nicolas uh, Legoff, now at Montpellier, nine points in the middle of the 100% efficiency in the quarterfinal for Legoff. Darrell Bolte from Ilac Volley. And Trevor Kleveno playing the Champions League final with uh, Yashemski. Will he have a part to play this evening? We'll have to wait and see. But we've seen him play in multiple big games. But he's competing with this man here, Yasin Luati, now at Rizovia. Very consistent out there on the wing. 
all of those 12 players playing in the Olympic gold medal winning side. And it's just uh, Timothy Kale and Quinton Jafori who weren't part of that Olympic gold medal winning squad. But Kale certainly proving his worth in that outside position. And Quinton Jafori, the last man out from France. Well, there's the French squad. They look united, they look happy and enjoying their volleyball. It's not always been the case, but they look ready to fire. Well, listen to the noise here in Rome as the crowd are about to meet their gladiators. Simone Gianelli part of the bronze winning team of 2015 in the European Championships, silver medal in the Olympic Games and the world champion, European champions from the last two years. Two big hitters straight off the bat, Alessandro Micheletto, 22 points in the 3-2 win against the Netherlands. Belasso, Lube's uh, main man for a long time from Padova, Beslibero in the 2021 European Championship. Ricardo Spatoli, best seller in the Challenge Cup in 2020. Leonardo Scanfella, the second libero. Played in the game against the Netherlands in set four. Matea Bortolo, a big part of the squad that won the World Championships and the European Champs. And Galassi gets a big roar as he comes into the arena as well. The only game he didn't play was against Switzerland, the 3-0 win. Lavia gets a huge roar here. The Trentino outsider, fantastic receiver. Will have to be on his toes under the service pressure of the French. Yuri Romano, the Piacenza man. And Roberto Russo walks in to the arena in full kit. Even though carrying that injury from two nights ago, don't think he's going to be fit enough to play here, but fantastic to be kitted up and out there with the team. Tommaso Rinaldi from Modena won the CEV Cup. And Alessandro Bovalenta from Ravenna. He's had a fantastic junior career, Bovalenta, a bright prospect as is uh, Rinaldi and Leandro Mosca. A2's best middle blocker in 2022. We missed Giovanni San Guinetti, the Madonna middle man. So Italy have been announced to their adoring fans here, led by Gianelli. It's a big evening for them here at home. And they've won 16 successive matches since a loss to France in the quarterfinals in 2019. That was the last time they lost a game in the European Championships. I don't think they're ready to start now. We stand for the national anthem of France.
Well, France won that European title in 2015. They beat Italy 3-2 in Turin on the road to the gold medal. It could be another close one this evening. Incredible. The band, the fans, and we are ready for liftoff. Andrea Gianni, a hero of this nation, coaching against his nation this evening in French colours. A difficult moment, he said, for him, but as soon as the whistle goes, it's all action. Well, Italy looking to become the first team to win multiple European championships as hosts. No better place to do it as Stanislav Simic will be the first referee. And Vasilios Vasilelidis, the second referee. So for France, will they keep the same side? One would think so. Start to see Andrea Gianni. He'll be feeling a mixture of emotions, a proud Italian. But now he presents his first six to the crowd. Chenny Aze, Legoff starts in the middle. Carle gets a nod on the wing. Jean Petrie starts on the opposite Blizzard setting as all the team come together in the middle. French look united here. And that's what Gianni said in the press conference. He says that the chemistry is really good. And when the chemistry is good, they're a difficult team to play against. Blizzard, Patry, Chiniesi, Lekov, Luati, Kale, Grebenikov, the first seven, the same as the semi-finals, sorry, the quarter-finals against Romania. We'll have a look. There's a huge, huge battle cry going on around Russo at the moment as the Italians are incredibly fired up to play at home. And Micheletto gets the start, of course, with Gianelli. Galassi is looking like exactly the same at seven, and that's no surprise. 
Lavia will start on the wing. Romano on the opposite. And there's a big start, a huge evening for Leandro Mosca, who played against Switzerland, came off the bench against the Netherlands, but this is a different kettle of fish. They're up for this, Italy, but they're going to have to put in everything they have again. Romano opposite Gianelli, Micheletto Lavia on the wing, Mosca and Galassi start in the middle, Palazzo is the libero. Last instructions from Gianni here. An absolute legend of the game. Yet to win a European Championship as a coach. Will this be his first time a four-time winner as a player, remember? Fernando Di Giorgi, somebody who's incredibly passionate and funny. Tonight, it's all business for the multiple world champion, former coach of Lube and Zaxa, remember? These are the evenings that players and fans and everyone involved remember for a very, very long time. It's the hosts, Italy. The world champions, the European champions up against France, the Olympic gold medalists for a place in the European Championship final against Poland on Saturday. Alessandro Micheletto, shining star of this Italian side and France go to Luati and Luati just fires wide but he's going for the sharp angle. No one's too fussed there from the French side. Big rocket serve from Micheletto. Rabenikov finding his rhythm. Luati just trying to spank it into the angle early doors. Good decision, just the execution was a little bit out. 22 points against the Netherlands, 12 against uh, Northern Macedonia for Micheletto and France. You can hear a pin drop. And Le Goff is still scoring at a phenomenal record. 100% efficiency, Le Goff against Romania, 80% against Bulgaria, and one from one here for the experienced middleman from Montpellier. Romano goes with the tip, Blizzard's put on the floor, Carly has to step in, goes to Patri, stays controlled towards Gianelli, who's just barking to get it to the outside, and Lavia looks for the touch, and it's given. Lavia with uh, two up, three up here. Gets the brush off the hands. And one thing about France that you know is that they dig deep and they have character. And being in the lion's den this evening won't scare them. It'll fire them up. And the only people you can hear cheering when France score are the French squad. It's a beautiful play. Carle over the top of the middle on a second tempo finds a way past the blockers Rabenikov just checking the rotation here Rabenikov uh, playing for Lube as uh, Pijorgi took over ace okay France Blizzard with a beautiful serve straight down the seam between Lavier and Micheletto. Look at Micheletto's face. And this is a tough matchup all round. France 
here on opposition soil. But Italy will know this is where France perform their best. Romano, who came off the bench and was superb. Grabenikov, superb. Grabenikov with a great pass and an outrageous cover. Who's and asked for the handling out there at the moment? Lavia puts the ball away. We are in for a wild, wild ride here in Rome this evening. Cilinesi hardly misses. The scoop comes from Gabenikov. Gianelli with a casual touch as well, just the scoop. Gabenikov just puts the ball in with a nice tempo every time, doesn't he? Tip over the top from Petri. Seeing power on there now. We have uh, some placement as well. More big serving from France. They've come out to try and unsettle the French water. Touch Grabenikov. No, you don't. Yes, you do, Grabenikov. Only you. Now he's barking orders to everybody else. But Italy come through the middle. Outrageous volleyball here. Rocked back Grabenikov, but already in the early stages. He's been everywhere, making himself very big defensively. Arms are out. Relishing the challenge. He's been served every ball so far. Cinesi. France will be happy if uh, Italy keep going after their libero. Cinesi uh, back to serve. It was good company uh, yesterday for an interview. Saying that France in a very good headspace. Oh, brilliant. The middle's cooking on both sides. This is the perfect start to the game as the setters wanting to run the middle early, hold the opposition middle blockers before going to the wings with one on ones. Le Goff almost went, and then he had to check back for Galassi. Again, France are in some sort of system. Gianelli to the floor, and in that situation, some would try and tip, but Le Goff has just gone full send with the arm. Stayed fast, stayed aggressive, as the tip is smart from Petri, because it takes Gianelli out of the setting position, and in the end, it doesn't really matter. That face from Gianelli tells us everything. The Italians have to be careful they don't ride the emotional roller coaster. But they're so experienced now. Again, the ball's in the right zone. And Gianelli, it's another way you can hold the middle with the second ball dump. Now the blockers have to be aware of that, holding them into the middle when the ball goes to the outside. Theoretically, more space and more seams to attack for the hitters. Grabenikov, jump set. Finds Petri, it's perfection. Rabenikov started this game incredibly well. He's in the thick of everything. Both teams are here, physically and mentally. Again, the pass is there. Gianelli feeding the middle at the moment. And he gets a pat on the back, Mosca. Fine young man, Mosca. Very, very friendly, the Verona man. Micheletto, what a pass. Full stretch, shoulders get above the ball. Gianni scratches his head at some good volleyball. Micheletto, out the back this time then.
where Italy had five wins, uh, including a 3-0 win against Serbia. Chose uh, pretty much the same team. Russo is still fit then, so uh, Russo, Russo instead of uh, Mosca, but it's been a similar reading the whole way through. Error on the outside from La Villa. This competition's been through here in Rome, Varna, Skopje in Macedonia, Northern Macedonia, Tel Aviv, Bologna, Perugia, and Bari, and Ancona as well. Really a fabulous competition over three weeks. And we still have uh, a lot of volleyball left. A big evening for this uh, gentleman here, Mosca. A2's best middle blocker in 2020. And what a start for him. If you think about confidence, he's come in, he's made a kill already. And then he just fires one at the head of Carle, who loses the stability when he goes to floor. And passing overhand is difficult when you drop to your knees. Italy take the lead, it's another good one. Carly steps up and takes this one. Cheniesi back in the game here. On time, wider set. Vlasi tries to get across, but then snap back. He's protecting a smart blocking from Vlasi, trying to take the high percentage swing and protect position one, but then the snap back is too good. And that's why uh, Cheniesi is one of the very best in the world at the moment. Fast from France. The speed of the offense. Nicoletto put to the floor. Ciniesi takes the middle because he's got set already. Carles on that second tempo in the middle. Very good setting from Blizzard to set the wider shoot and then link it to the pipe the very next ball. Running this game nicely. Purely for the fact that Galassi's gonna run with Ciniesi after uh, the previous play and Ciniesi being so effective there. That pipe is a very good option. Big serve. And what I'm already loving about this game is that both teams are going full throttle. It's exactly what we thought would happen. Blizzard has a little look to the outside. Feeds Patri. And Patri, for a second time, goes over the top with a tip. Not for the first time. Jean Patri scores with a tip over the top. France are fired up for this one. Engapet just jumping around in front with that knee injury that uh, kept him out. Okay, there's an error from Romana. First time out of this semi final. And it's uh, De Giorgi that has to call it. The pass uh, starting to leak a little bit here and on the high ball. Look at Gianni. from uh, Romano. Difficult for the left-hander when that ball's uh, getting set over such a long distance to come and find it and still be aggressive with it. It's in lower D, 31 now. The outside spiker. Obviously have Cleverno playing a Champions League final this year uh, bench as well. 
Tilly. On the turn, great dig, chases on. Carley revives it, and Blizzard de Seda has to jump through. Other opportunity, this time Romano, another dig from France. It's really good persistence, but Romano's heating up again here. Goes away from the body and fires through. And the difference between this one and the previous one, the ball's in rhythm, it's faster. It gets across him, and he can turn the ball. The Italian flag flying high once again here. Lavia, Grabenikov is absolutely on the money. A second pipe attack, and it is absolutely flying through there. Luati this time, Kale the previous time. And it's all because the pass is cooking. Gianni will be over the moon with the way France have come out here. Engerpeth's got the uh, tracksuit top off. Gianese with a big serve of his own. That set's tight but it's perfect for Micheletto. What a set! I thought that was tight, but Gianelli has just played a ball from way right of the court and put it on the absolute perfect spot for Micheletto. It's an absolutely insane set, almost from the scoreboard. Service error keeps France uh, two in front. Engerpet getting ready, who's uh, throughout his career not been uh, too used to coming off the bench for France. Chilinese currently on the side. Uh, Patrick, big serve for Patrick. Grabenikov is there again, my word. He's reading everything, almost a face block. Face cover, Gianelli. Looks through the net, smiling. Back at Legoff. What a game this is already. High ball to Carle. And this is where he might struggle, Carle. Has a more passing outside. P2 looking for the block at times. Gianelli is high and he's got a fantastic block on him. He had a lot of points off the block against... Uh, Romania, but that's an overpass for Carle as well. Italy, through service pressure, are sensing an opportunity. And Gianni has to get his troops in here. First pipe attack for Gianelli. The ball's going in. The crowd are absolutely loving it. Go on, sir. The passion, certainly evident here. Well, the opening set of uh, Poland Slovenia was entertaining. Poland making uh, too many errors in that opening set for Nikola Gerbic's uh, liking. Well, Kale blocked. And then the service pressure too much from Gianelli. What will this point bring? Gianelli starting to affect the game in multiple ways, just like he loves to. Good timeout from Gianni. Well, Gianelli, best setter at the World Championships. MVP of Euro Volley 2021. Carle out the back who uh, won the Bundesliga with Berlin recycling volleys. Inside America, outside uh, Cody Kessel, Cleveno now coming in for Carle. It's a nice option for Gianni to have, uh, bringing Cleveno. off the bench 
a big player for France in recent years. That's another big bit of service pressure. Luati thought he had the block. But Romano reigns supreme at the moment. Big high chew off of Luati's hands. The Wonder Boy. Micheletto. Into the net this time, but also with uh, Alessandro Bovalenta on the side, and also uh, Tommaso Rinaldi. The future's bright. Rinaldi, the best outside hitter at under 22 European champs and world championships, under 21 as well. Engapet comes in for Lagoff. We've seen this substitution before for Engapet. Came off the bench against Bulgaria, Romania. Romania in the group stage as well, and also Portugal. And there's been four games he hasn't played in. But that's what Engapet does. He comes and he makes a difference. His whole career, he's made a difference. Micheletto beaten. Engapet again with another big serve. Blocks in from France. Giannelli having to chase after this one. There's a little bit of uh, traffic on the way there. Nobody's taking the tip for France. You feel like Italy are battling here. It's not perfect, but it's uh, not bad either. Engapet stays high, goes after the libero. Substitution certainly worked for France. Spurtley coming in as well for Mosca. You feel that Spatoli, if he played for any other nation, he would uh, get a ton more court time then. Bless him, that's a big serve as well, the service. Patrice stopped, Spatoli goes and uh, finds Ramon and have a look at the celebrations here. Spatoli's come off and just brought so much energy from the bench. Two setters on the backcourt for France at the moment. And it just shows the trust in Spatoli. Italy by one. Another big sub. What a substitution this is. You talk about Engapev making a difference. Spertoli's just come on and changed the entire game. Time out, Gianni and France. France are rocked back because of the physicality from the service line. Clever note. Can't get the ball in. What an opening set. Both coaches deep in thought, trying to figure out ways to stop the opposition. Spertoli off the bench. Superb, Engapeth did exactly the same. Cleveno. Carle both struggling with their pass off the top spinner. Short ball now, Cleveno passes a little bit off as uh, Luati scooped. Micheletto, Gianelli and Spatoli on the backcourt. The defense is superb. Micheletto, Spatoli combine in celebration. And sometimes the stars align. Spatoli off the bench. Two setters on the backcourt with Micheletto. Lavia off the hands. It's another big serve from Spatoli. This is 
heroic stuff in Rome from Spurtley. And now, the emotion all positive, the crowd are behind them. Italy are flying. In comes Kevin Tilly. Well, Tilly now in as uh, he came off the bench against Romania and did a fine job in the final stages. Patri, no, they're still alive. Tilly gets up. What an opening point for Tilly. Just gets up aggressively and hammers through some mentality. Patri gets beaten. Tilly just puts it away. It's exactly the same aggression. He used off the bench against Romania in the final stages. Five points down, 21-16. They turned it around. Mosca's back in. Well done, Spertoli. Glassy the target. One-on-one -on -one situation. That's the first time that you remember Glebenikov being beaten. Lavia one on one is a problem. Big serve from Romano this time. Thuds into the net. Tilly from the right side off the hands. Two points for him already. Gianni already. Uh, this is looking very different to the starting team from Gianni. Already used Engapeth, brought him off. Tilly clever no in. Just trying to use all of his puzzle pieces. Italy. Four set points. Something tells me that the noise here from the Palazzetto della Sport de Roma is going to go through the roof. Tilly with the pass. Chinese takes a big high leap. Almost jumps out of the gym and then gets replaced. Quintin Jeffroy was used in uh, all three sets against Romania, Bulgaria. Started uh, in the group stage against Romania and scored nine points. That was the game uh, that France lost. A bit of an upset, really, for. France a huge upset for the competition, but France uh, got their own back in the quarterfinals. There you have it. The opening set goes the way of the reigning champions. We're going to have a challenge all the same from Gianni. In or out, the ball is out. Italy lead one set to zero here in Rome. But there's still a big, big job to be done against this French team who started incredibly well, but cue the entrance from Spurtley to change the game from the service line. Felt like Italy struggled with their pass in the opening few moments, but then it got rocking and rolling. Italy 1-0. 25-21. Not much in it. France, stronger servers, more blocks from the Italians, more winners at the net as well. Question is for Gianni, where does he go now? Does he uh, go back to his starting six?
regardez des... There is uh, young Rinaldi, bright prospect, and well for Roberto Lusso, it must be difficult to watch because he's had a great competition. Leveno is going to get us underway here. Didn't start in the first set, so it's been an early change as uh, Kale's uh, off for the time being. Blizzard goes out to the outside to Luati. Cleveno will maybe give them a little bit more height in that wing position, but it doesn't matter. They go over the top. And nobody's home from France. Trading a roll shot, what a touch that is from Romano. And Gianelli understands this game, has a high volleyballing IQ. They have to be careful here, France. They really have to dig in and get off to a good start because against Italy, in Italy, if you lose momentum, then it's going to be very difficult. Italy are flying here. Micheletto. <laughs> High and hard off of Vlogov, who got across very well, but Micheletto is so high. Gianelli. It's a very aggressive approach to the ball and a very uh, flat serve. And then he's making defenses. Micheletto from way downtown. Grabenikov keeps it alive. Three up in the block, sorry, two up in the block from the Italians. And now a chance to throw it back to Micheletto. My word, Italy. The crowd love it. Lasso with the cover. A fabulous one at that. And just like we saw from Poland, the intensity that Italy are playing at is on another level at the moment. France have been rocked. Treat. Perfect side out. That's a good way to get France on the scoreboard as we have a look at the stats from uh, the opening set here. Three points for Petri, three points for Chilinese, Lagoff two. Well, you look at Lavio with six, Romano with four. Again, Lagoff two from two. I make that that he's missed one swing in the last three matches. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is not bad. He does miss a serve, though. Big, fast and wide. Putting the pressure. Passes in, Blizzard sets the long ball. Leaves a one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. Marley beat into the line. This game Absolutely incredible. Italy play phenomenal volleyball. And then France responds, battling away here.
Well, there's uh, lots of chatter for this game about Andrew Mosca and uh, coming in and filling the shoes of Russo. Uh, but so far, he's uh, not put a foot wrong. It's another good short serve. Chilling is it? Is just on another level. Great set from Brazil with the one hand. And you just don't stop him, do you? He's so, so high. Can hit both ways at the Lube middleman. Luati. I have to say that if France want to uh, upset the Italians here, they have to go full throttle from the service line. Romano. France can just uh, correct their pass. Again, it's a little bit off, and that's making Brizard's job a little bit uncomfortable. Good serving from Italy again. Lavia three up, so he uh, knows he hasn't got any angles available, so recycles. Lavia again. Oh, jump set, what a play! <laughs> this is absolutely sensational. Well, there we see the dig. But it was this, the dummy. Second ball attack from Lavia, and then flip to Gianelli. Suffer that, France, Italy. And that's missed by an absolute whisker. Chilinese. Once again, who's had another fabulous competition. Scoop from Brizard. Lavia doesn't try and over play this one. They'll look for a touch here. They'll go for a challenge. Everything going their way. The service pressure, the defensive. Italy, stuff of miracles in Rome. Hegrabenic, what a play that is. And Lagoff does miss his first uh, offensive play for two matches. Georgie almost uh, put down. Four-point game. It's very difficult for France to get out of first gear when Italy are bringing their very best level. You think about the service pressure they're applying through Gianelli, Micheletto, Mosca, difficult floater, and Lavia as well. Just takes a bit off that after the timeout. Two up in the block, and uh, good work from France. France haven't really got their serving going. A couple of miss serves into the net this time, but Patrice, somebody who can get it going, does get it going, but Blas just absorbs everything. And the level that Italy are bringing could mean it's a very, very quick night in the office, but there's still plenty of time for France, and they have all the ability.
well tracked and well seen from uh, Luetti. We saw uh, Clevener and Tilly off the bench in the previous set. Engapeth uh, came on to serve as well. The serve from Clevener, still plenty of time. It's interesting when the pressure starts to go on your own shoulders. Serving and passing becomes very difficult in this game. When you're feeling relaxed and everything's going your way, funny enough, the momentum goes in your favour. One player gets on a serving run, then another one does. It goes against you. You have to work so hard to get it back. Again, slightly off from uh, France. Difficult for Blizzard from there, and it's another break for Italy. From that situation, Blizzard can't quite run the game that he would like. Has to go to the outside. Mosca is across again. But it's Micheletto who gets the block. The passing and serving isn't quite there at the moment from France. Boye in for Patrick. Gavenikov flaring one outside. Gianelli has a little look through the net. The pipe is in. Boye with an outrageous dig. But Italy are just storming it at the moment. France get, can't get anywhere near them. Working in unison. Lavia looks like he can hit five. Opens up the chest to the right-hand side. And then fires back to position one. Phenomenal pipe hitting. Gianelli's running this game. The Italians are working hard for each other. And it feels like the French have their backs against the wall already. Balasso, Glebenikov, two of the best to ever do it. They're both uh, playing incredibly well with the percentages. Gianelli, who got this second set off to a great start. Again, it's not as hard, that serve, but it's fast to a point. And it gets uh, France out of rhythm. Engapeth is now on the front court. Dodgy knee or no dodgy knee. They go uh, to their main outside hitter of the past decade or so. Special talent. Just fizzes one cross line over the left shoulder. Be interesting to see how physical he is out there at the moment. Who uh, heads to Turkey to play next year. Our oh, France making problems really with their defense. Who's asked from the crowd? Moscow gets dug as well. Chiniezi and uh, Engapeth both go for the same ball, but Engapeth was there. Engapeth's now waiting for it. Out of position four, it is Engapeth who looks high. What a rally. No way. Italy are everywhere. Block from Chiniezi. Gianelli flips one back to Micheletto. One of the rallies of the competition so far. Engapeth, third time goes off body and silences the crowd here. Everyone applauding volleyball. Tony Udi loving it. Desire, spirit all round. Look off playing six and slotted away from Engerpet, what a swing that is, just turning it past the three blockers. Knows the angles the blockers will take, and he still finds a way to turn it fast enough. That's what makes Engerpet so special, his decision-making, his ability to know the situation, work off the block, have a different speed of the arm when he needs to, to turn the ball when he has to. 
the serving game hasn't been there for France so far. Nicoletto. Boye. Gabanikov is all over it. Second chance, Engapev comes in with that little cross line that he's famous for and building through Engapet and Boye have uh, made a difference here. Grapenikov again in the perfect situation underneath the block and still Boye incredibly high. And what we're seeing now is the real depth of the French squad as they start to work their way back into this set. Engapet getting a lot of the ball, isn't he? And you can see why he's up for the challenge. He's causing some problems for the Italians. Where is he going now? Engapet, absolutely sensational. He's out of position, Engapet. He wasn't going to get the ball, but he came in so aggressively on the back set that it was enough to take everybody's attention. He gets a five from Gianni. It's Chiniesi that gets it, but Engapet is trying to take the block away from the middleman. Superb from Engapet. Just leave him. Let him go and be creative. And this game has strangely just turned. Just when you thought Italy were in cruise control, maybe they were in cruise control. France won't stop fighting. Engapet just come on. This is great to have uh, three points, 33 percent of the attacks. He's done way more than that, though. Engapet continued to play, built pressure off of his swings. Blizzard, another big serve from Blizzard. This is a nice run of serves from him. Junior is tall off the top of the hands. Romano, good game so far for the right side. Mosca, next to serve. Still a four-point game, comfortable for Italy, but for how long? Engapet now the target. The pass goes into a slightly more aggressive zone. Oh, my word. Boye has just put a dent in the floor. The Italians are laughing. Does he go over the top here of the Italian opposite? It's wide of the mark. I thought that was in. It was a huge, huge play. Pass again from Engapet, perfect. Running a fast play behind. They go to the middle. Looking for a foot infringement of uh, the three meter line. Engapet now back to serve. Dangerous moments here for Italy. Three up. Engapet uh, working overtime since coming on. Big serve. The MVP of the Olympic Games in uh, 2020 or 2021. A five point set this one, but I'm still speechless to the level that we're seeing from both teams at times. Clevenot now on the front court for France. 
Lavia, Chianese, what a touch, nobody's on the second though. It's a good enough for blow from Lavia. Chianese applauded as he comes off. Reactions, gets his body underneath it, platform underneath it. Does everything he needs to, but nobody's reacting. Italy have found their way again here. Short serve. Some of these off-speed serves that we see from the Italians causing France a lot of issues. To the wing, three, and off the hands uh, from Cleveno. There's three or four times that the off-speed serve to the sideline from Italy has just led to a vulnerable touch in the pass because of the amount that the passer has to move. Not all bang bang from the service line, although for this man it is. Boye goes back and does the opposite to the Italians before, just belts one. And what we're seeing from France is a team who refuse to give up and throw the towel in. <laughs> Crazy game, this one. You still feel that France have an outside chance when Italy just came out flying in this second set. Cinesi, a big player in this team. Five in the middle already. Well, yeah, the toss a little bit too inside the court this time, but a good run from uh, the opposite man. Here we go again, Spurtley back in for Galassi. The hero of the opening set. Can he do it again? Yes, he can, but he picks out Engerpet. He's passed perfectly since coming on. And Boye, great side out from France. If they would have done that in the opening set, who knows what would have happened towards the end of it. I felt like the game was nicely balanced. And then Spurtley changed it. France are looking for a hero though here in the second. Engerpet's been perfect since coming on. He's made a real difference to this team. The confidence that he's playing with, although not fully fit, Complimentary to his attitude. Free ball with a short bumper to position one. Two in the block. France's defense, phenomenal. Balasso's in. Back to Romano, block, but it's France's side. Awkward left-hander, leaning in the air. Just changing the direction of the ball. Back into the angle and off the hands of Legoff. Can't quite drop the hands and the arms inside quick enough. Italy doing a fine job of just keeping this four point lead. Clever the target, overhand for the float serve. The passing unit just start a little bit further up. And after the, I'm not even going to say poor start from uh, France because Italy just came out the blocks firing. But it's been a very close second set if you take away uh, the first moments. Chifori is uh, back into the equation. 
There's a few French fans in here. Before him for Le Goff and Again, the serving at the beginning of the set wasn't quite there. Inconsistent there this evening. The pass has got better throughout the second set. Engapet, Boye serving certainly of uh, it's up the ante for the French team. Micheletto. They need a side out here very quickly. Feels like Italy have done a good job of just uh, maybe taking a little bit of pressure off the serve to make sure they don't give too many errors away and let France back in. That's high on Gianelli because Cilinesi has been unstoppable. Bosh! Service pressure, Brizard again. Lavia. I don't know how he got through that French wall, but somehow he made it look far easier than it was. Service pressure on point. Palazzo is there to comfort and cushion the ball in again. Out of system play. There's two up against him, Boye and Chiniesi, and he's got through them. Hundred and thirteen kilometers an hour. Engerpeck. He's been dug. France need this one desperately. Through the block, nobody on the floor for them again. There's a few balls in this set that France have let hit the floor. Lavier's come to the forefront of this game at the perfect time to pull the Italians away. This time high off of Engerpet. What a serve! Rinaldi. Has just come off the bench. And show him why he's been so successful at Madonna. The best outside hitter of the under 22s European champs. The world championship under 21s. Off the bench for Mosca. And he's added something to the equation for the Italians. Mosca back in, then back out for the libero. Engerpet. And it's wide of the mark for Engerpet. Italy lead two sets to zero. It's a long, long way back now for the French side. Led by Italian legend Andrea Gianni. An impressive start, an impressive finish from the Italians has given them a big lead and the initiative here in the European Championship semi-final. Italy lead two sets to zero, 21 and 19 the scores in the opening two sets. Well, the stats, more errors from France. That will do it. A lot of missed serves in that set for me. What do France have to do to get back into this game? It's a big, big question here as we head here from the coaches.
Yeah, absolutely no problem so far for Italy. As uh, the French are very well known for their defensive work. And I completely agree that they're being uh, very strong back there, the Italians, this evening. Both uh, head coaches sending their assistants uh, for interviews. As we now hear from France. Well, Loic Egea summed it up perfectly, didn't he? They need to side out better. They need to get the first pass in more often. Because as soon as that ball's off the net, it gives the defense a chance. It's all interlinked, this game. France pass more on the net. It's going to make defense and block much harder for the Italians. Gianni's got a few problems to solve here. Second set break here. We get to have a look at the top scorers. Lavier on 11. You have to say, offensively, has been incredibly dangerous this evening. When you think that Micheletto is uh, not on that list at the moment, Gianelli with four is uh, also interesting for the Italians. Lavia Romano, Gianelli, the top scorers, Chiniesi, Petri for France. Five points in that second set for Lavia. Five from eight attacks. Gianelli, two from two, perfect. the last uh, throw the dice for France. 2-0 down in the Lions then Italy have performed at an incredible level. Gianni's uh, kept it the same as he left it. Engapet starts uh, even though he's not at full strength out there and you can tell at times but he certainly has uh, provided some stability Boyet gets a nod as the opposite. Gianese. Look off in the middle. Cleverno keeps his spot. Galassi, Romano, Lavia, Micheletto, Palasso, Gianelli. It's the same as uh, Romano and Boyet. He's not had much of the game, really. Uh, yet has he the French uh, opposite we'll see how he fares now uh, coming in from the start feel sorry for Patry because uh, the pass wasn't there in large periods so far but it might just be the answer to hit France out of system as an outlet Set three underway, one that France desperately needs to win. It's a great pass from Enga Pepo. Here comes in. And then on the counter, Italy are doing what they've done all night long. Doesn't matter what set it is, what point it is. They're making digs and they're converting in transition. Another point for Lavia. 
Mikaleda, the service pressure, it's relentless out there. Engapet goes with the tip. Klebenikov just shoves it off of his shoulder. Boye, he's been dug. My word, Italy is still everywhere defensively. And then Romano puts it away. The fans are in awe here. This is a special, special performance so far. Gianelli running the game offensively. But so good in every other area. Well, considering Italy was serving first, it was a good start. Grabenikov leaves. Uh, Oh no, Grabenikov uh, came off and then he's straight back on. Wrong rotation. Pizar going off speed towards Romano. Romano gets it back. Engapet gets his uh, first real block of the game so far. And now he has to hit his way from a couple of metres off. And that's where he might just struggle, not being at full physicality. Blizzard says sorry. And he's just saying, do you want the ball higher? And Engapet not quite at full fitness. Tries to go off the hands. And that's a well-sealed block. No way past that from there for Engapet. Huge. Giniezi hasn't really been stopped, has he? Three from five in uh, the last set, so he has been stopped the whole time, but... If they can keep giving him the ball, they have a chance. Engapet on the outside is going to need the middle being used if he's going to attack with uh, limited jumps in him. No touch uh, signaled from France this time, but the challenge is coming very quickly. Players are sure that it should go their way. Block touch is what they're looking for. And the Italian television next to me enjoying themselves so much they're dancing along with the music. They must feel that a win is not far away. Oh, guilty. Great challenge. Cleveno was not admitting to anything, was he? And that one's been turned around. All of these small things going the Italian's way. Cleveno knew it. He wasn't going to show it. And the fans incredibly unhappy. Close to the line. Lagoff uh, back in. Levinikov, Chiniese serving next. Lasso, Micheletto, Lavia in the pass for the Italians. Balasso hasn't put a foot wrong, has he? And from there, Italy can run the middle. The whole game opens up for them. Balasso puts that ball in, doesn't give the French defense a chance. It's a good serve from Chiniesi. Gianelli fading away, just speeds the ball up to Galassi. Nagoff, uh, as effective as he is offensively, struggling to make a block out there with Italy's offense. And again. This is some performance from Italy. It really is. Coming in here. So much discussion with the fans about how tough this was going to be for them after the game against the Netherlands two nights ago in Bari and the strength that the French team have in them but they've forced this performance this is not a poor French performance it's the service it's the blocking the defense they find a way all the time the Italians this evening or well, they have found a way 
to put France under pressure in every element of the game. Big serve from Boyer. And that's exactly what the French need here. A good run of serves. Where they can start to give a bit of this pressure back to the Italians. Boyer again. Off the top of the net band. Micheletto makes it look easy. Stay stable early. They'll look for a touch again here and they'll get it. Cleverno doesn't try and pull a fast one there. Galassi, service pressure in abundance all evening from Italy. 113 kilometers an hour, but it's fast to the floor. It's very rare that Grabenikov gets beaten, but that was too good from Galassi, and the fans love it. What an evening he's had, by the way. Mosca coming in and doing a grand job. Let's see if they can finish it off. Here are the Italians. It's another block. The pass is slightly too tight from Engerpet. The service pressure upsetting the rhythm of the French passes. In the early stages, the pass was too far off. Now it's too tight. Blizzard tries to go off the hands. But credit to Micheletto. He reads the situation insanely well. It's very difficult to find a poor Italian performance out there this evening. The bench, Spurtley coming on. Oh, there's a rotation error from France. And now it's starting to fall apart a little bit here. Engerpet uh, gives the second referee some eyes. It's uh, Boyer. I think that went out of position early. We have to have another look. And that's a tough one for France to take. It's a free point. And it's not going to give uh, their confidence a boost. Net touch against Mosca. They're battling here, the French, but they need a bit more. Great pass from Engerpet put to the floor. Boyer just... Uh, a bit wide there, and Mosca knows the angle the ball's coming in on. The ball's wide of the antenna. Has to come back in on an angle. Clever note. Good serving again from France. But the pass is perfect from the Italians. Chance in transition. No, Engerpet, he's been stopped. Again, struggling offensively in this set, Engerpet. And Gianelli has had him on toast. But you think that as a character out there, Gianni will stick with Engerpet. Blizzard's out at the moment. Klebenikov steps in. It's a good wide set. I didn't think you could stop Boyer from there. I didn't think you could stop Engerpet from there. Can France stop Micheletto? No! The fans are on their feet here in Rome. Not just for Micheletto, but the overall effort 
and desire and the will to win from their team. Lavia, two times in a row. And then out of system. Micheletto picks it off the block. It's a magical evening for the fans. Surely there's no way back for the French here. Six. Changes to five. As a lead here, it's uh, going to take some character for France to get back into this. Engerpetsen in the front court. Know that he's not jumping uh, full send because of his knee. Now he's playing at position two. They go through the pipe. Herman knows all over it. Nice work. Bizarre finds Chiniese. It's a marvellous set. Chiniese ends up on the floor almost. Uh, they're really pushing this middle. Watch him off the ball, having to kick out all the time. Blizzard finds him. It's not at full height. Doesn't matter. They're forcing the middle to try and get it in the best they can. Right. Big hybrid serve. Enjoyed that one a lot. Overset. Blizzard's out. Engerpet on the second ball. Smart, speeds up off the hands. No hesitation showing whatsoever from Engerpet. And they're back to three here. Setter to setter. So much experience. De Giorgi, but also Gianelli nowadays as well. He was the next best thing at the Rio Olympics. He is the big thing now towards Paris. This arena. Palazzetto dello Sport de Roma. Is a fabulous atmosphere. The top tier, you can't really see too much of because of the lights. Chevrolet. Everything is working, isn't it? The short serve is well seen. Leonardo Mosca. Coming in for Russo has not put a foot wrong. Gianelli with one hand has full trust in his young middle to do the job that he was brought in to do this evening. This is a proper team performance from Italy. It really is. Micheletto, short ball into Engerpet is a good pass. Boyer, still no ball hits the floor. France is struggling to kill the ball hit. Ah, but Kalevano, second tempo pipe attack. Just over the top of Chiniesi. Almost the same speed as he would set Chiniesi. But it's Kalevano firing through. It's very good setting from Blizzard. France is still in touch here. If they can get a little run together, Italy will still have to finish the job, but it's that man again. Leandro Mosca. Gianelli feeding him because he's flying. It's a big occasion, and he's come in. And he's played the perfect game. And it's Galassi now. 
with a huge stuff block on Chiniesi. And maybe that's just shut the door on any hopes that the French had. It's a late move towards position one on that swing over the left shoulder of Chininese. It's smart blocking from Galassi because he leaves it incredibly late to take that angle away. Boyer misses the line again. We saw that in the previous set. And that could be game, set and match now. They're giving him a sliver of the sideline and he's trying to bounce it every time. Challenge, maybe just an extra timeout, really. Whatever's happened to France is they're starting to capitulate a little bit here. Errors getting blocked. Continues like this, this game will be over very, very quickly. Engerpet again the target. But yeah, no stopping that one. Out to the wing, one on one. Been struggling with the crossbody to the line, but not firing into that angle. A one on one, he'll take that all day. Perfect. Oh my days, Italy. They have put on an absolute clinic here this evening. Belasso's pass on the money. And then it's Micheletto on the pipe that seals it. Six point game again. Clever note passing off the net. He's going to get this one back. No, he's not. Bowie is going to have to hit it from way out right. High swing. They are working with an intensity in a fashion. The Italians that the French just cannot match. Lavier off the hands of Boyer. Timeouts from France. For periods, the French have put together some plays. But on the whole, Italy have just managed to put them under so much pressure in every aspect of the game. Good timeout from Gianni. He's still out there trying to get France through this, through these tough moments. Luati. Coming back in to serve uh, for Chiniese. And again, from Italy, the passing system, Micheletto's on the floor. What a dig, Romano this time. And this is summing up the performance here. Well, France uh, want to call a challenge for the attack line foot fault. Oh, 
Now France. Uh, watch the screen in the arena closely. Again, it's a long one here. That's a center line fault that they're after. And there you go. A couple of quick looks at the second referee. Good spot from uh, the coaching staff of France. Good challenge, they get one back for the Micheletta going underneath the net. Backed up with an ace from Luati. That might just fire up the French furnace. Big serve straight through the seam. but they need more, and they get more, but the pass again. Micheletto, Gianelli, just teaming up here. The service pressure is insane from France. Louis T throws everything into this, and Micheletto just pops it in. Gianelli has the control in one hand to go wherever he likes. It's magic, it's absolute magic. Lagoff back in and scoring. Offensively, unstoppable when it's cooking. Boye. Is it going to be his time where he can put the cat amongst the pigeons here and try and get France back into this? It's a great serve, but it's an even better pass. Gianelli! You're a wizard. Big serve from Bourrier. And it's a late turn of the wrist. Again, it's magic. And this sums up the performance. France hammer the serve and Italy just put the ball on an absolute plate. They want a net touch here. Net touch. Nowhere near. Nowhere near. Five-point game. And the crowd are loving this performance. It really is a performance that they can be proud of. The Italian fans, Cleverno. Still at four. There's still a very, very small sliver of hope. Great set from Blizzard to keep that ball quick so they can still test out the middle blocker. Go off of Mosca. Clever no again. Tight play from uh, Micheletto. Nothing hits the floor on that side of the net and then Micheletto picks out Engerpet. He got back incredibly well, now it's tight. Blockers pull their hands out the way. And Romano! It's been a faultless, faultless performance from all of them. Belasso keeps it alive, a high rip is perfect on the line, an out of system rip.
Gianelli. Passes to Cleverno, but once again the ball's off the net. Says no middle. Engapetta manages to make a way past the block. But those are the small things that you see from uh, Italy. They've passed into better zones this evening with that first ball. Sometimes maybe too aggressive, but that's where the length and the height of Gianelli helps. This time it's off the net, and that brings Chilinese back into the game. Leaves a little look, lingering towards Mosca. Gianelli tries to feed him. The left hand takes position five. That's one. And that's uh, Mosca off for the time being. Sanguinetti comes in. Lagoff serving. Short ball. Maybe there's some pressure. Error. Now it's interesting. France looked uh, down and out. Giorgi thinks the ball went down. Gianelli's asking for a touch. In or out, out. France have half a chance here. They're working their way back into this game. And they're starting to believe the body language here changing. But the crowd then make noise, Le Goff again. To position one, Micheletto the target. Through the pipe, block! Oh, my word! And now the bench is storming the court. Cinesi has made a big, big play. Court invasion from France. Timeout from Italy. It's game on again. Well, considering that Lagov's been uh, taken off to be replaced by numerous service substitutions, he's done a very good job back there throughout this stage. And now I feel that for the first time, Italy will feel some sort of weight on their shoulders. Not everything's quite as smooth as it was a moment ago. And it's the float server of Lagov that's doing the damage. Dig from Boje. Blizzard over at position four for blocking purposes, finds Engapet. Italy desperate for this one, France even more desperate. Micheletto scooped by Engapet, and it's out of play. It's a huge, huge point, and they go to Micheletto, and he delivers. Engapet in the angle. Taking the sharp angle away from Micheletto, but it was just to the left of him a little bit too much, and he had to reach. And then you stop dictating the ball as much. <laughs> Alessandro! Micheletto! Strong in the arm and strong in the head. Sensational. And he points straight to the head as well. Two for Italy. Engapet out of system. Goes back to Engapet, who gets up off the floor this time.
Blizzard puts Palacio on the floor. Three, two up in the block. Carly just step, steps out the way. Boya, they're firing now, France. That's a huge, huge break. It's one more back. Lavia goes full throttle. Boya is coming to the party now. But they need another one. Bizarre with another good serve. They're out of system. And it's a clutch play. A clutch play at a key time. And the Italians know it. Romano stays as high as possible. Carle not the biggest blocker. He knows he has the height advantage, but Gianelli with a phenomenal set to put Romano on the spot. And Romano does the rest. Match point for the Italians. Foot fault against Rinaldi. A big moment for the youngster. And to be honest, he went full throttle, didn't he? Engapet. Of course, it's Engapet to serve. And the referee says the ball's gone out the back. But there will be a challenge. France want to challenge, but they're not getting the challenge here at the moment. Means that Italy... There you have it. And listen to the roar of the Roma crowd as the reigning champions of Europe will fight Poland to retain their title on Saturday. Disappointment for France as they fought their way back in set three. But Italy were phenomenal this evening and they deserve their 3-0 victory. Well, Lanzani not part of the squad this time around uh, with some health issues. But to beat this French team at 3-0 in such fashion is a real statement of intent from the Italians. From the huddle at the beginning, you could tell that they were up for it from the early stages, you knew that psychologically they were there, but my oh my, that was a performance and a half. Lavia. Fantastic offensively, Gianelli never putting a foot wrong, but no one did. Micheletto, another phenomenal evening for him. And credit to young Leandro Mosca for coming in place of Russo and being so, so solid in the middle. France are still desperately unhappy as we focus on the celebrations of Italy. Spurtley coming off the bench in the first set. 
with the run of serves that changed the pace of the game. Engerpet came off the bench and served an ace. Bertoli came off and went on a run of three or four and Italy never looked back. A big performance from the reigning European and world champions. That's why this generation are winning all of these prestigious titles. 3-0. 21, 19, and 23. Speechless. Because Italy have just brushed aside a fantastic French side. So there's the stats, 43 to 36, winner attacks, six blocks to two. Still questions being asked about that last serve as we go down court side. Humble and focus on the next game already. You heard it. It's a repeat of the World Championship final for European glory. Italy are looking to go back to back. Poland haven't won this competition since 2009. It's going to be immense. Slivka, Leon, and Co, who was so impressive earlier on today, up against an Italian side who have just blitzed France. As we have a look at the service placement, a lot down the middle at the moment. In set. An evening to remember for Italy here in front of their home fans in the Palazzetto della Sport de Roma. They will play Poland and France will have to settle for a place in the bronze medal match. 13 points for Lavia, 15 for Romano. 
And for France, only Chiniesi in double figures this evening. Engapeth came off the bench and made a real difference, but it was just a little bit short of the mark for France because Italy were phenomenal this evening. A real performance to be proud of in front of their home fans. And all roads have led here to Rome. Saturday will be phenomenal. Well, we leave you with some shots of a phenomenal evening. Thank you for joining us. Italy, Poland, a repeat of the World Championship final for European glory here in Rome on Saturday. You do not want to miss either of the games. France and Slovenia for bronze. For myself, Louis Led and the team will say goodbye for now and leave you with some pictures of an incredible Italian performance.